Gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here at the Main Corps. Excited to be with you today. My apologies that it has been more than a week since my last video. I've been very busy, but uh, again, excited to be with you. The topic for today's video is going to be around goal setting and the purpose of goals, the reason why men should continue to set goals, maintain goals, uh, what goals should really mean to you, and how to really look at them. So if you are new here, the main core is a community that is built specifically for men that are digging to their core to find out who it is that they really are, what it is that they really want, and who it is that they really want to become. We cover three topics here, that is masculinity, health, and relationships. Subscribe to the channel and click the bell to be notified for future videos. We would love to have you as a part of the community to help build men for the future. So again, the topic of the video is really going to be around goal setting and the purpose of goals, the way that we should be not only setting goals, but really understanding and observing and participating in goal setting. Uh, as I reflect back on a lot of the times in my life, you know, any time that I felt like I had uh, a mission or a purpose or, or I felt like I was moving forward. I felt fulfilled in what I was doing in various, in various areas of my life. That could have been in sports, that could have been in school, that could have been at work, whatever the case may be. As I, as I look back on my own personal experience, what I understand is that, you know, or what I see is that the theme that was consistent across all of those times or all of those moments was all because there was there was an an end goal or something off in the future that I was looking for. So as men, you know, I covered in the last video what our symbol means and it's it's the arrow, it's the direction. And in previous videos to that I've talked about what masculine energy is, which is purpose, drive, mission, accomplishing, moving forward, breaking through barriers. So just in our nature, we need to you know, understand that having goals and, and pursuing them and continuing to move forward is really our essence and why it's so important that we embody that and why we not you know, settle or, or sit and sulk or uh, pursue a goal that has you know, an end before our end. Uh, and I'll cover that here in just a few minutes. But you know, that was the thing that was consistent across all of those times in my life. I had something off in the future or a goal or a purpose, an intent, a uh, something, something to strive for, something that I was, I was moving towards, you know, it's, it's a direction. So, you know, when, when I really observe things now, it, it really showed me that uh, when I had that vision of looking ahead, when I, was, when I was looking forward and I was moving in that direction, every decision that I was making on a day-to-day -day basis was all consistent with that end goal. So if that meant that if I wanted to get in better shape or if that meant that I wanted to attain a specific um, you know, result at, I was a big wrestler, so uh, at a wrestling tournament, or if I wanted to beat a specific opponent in wrestling, if I wanted to uh, sell a specific amount of product at the end of the year or hit a specific goal, whatever the case may be, because I had that end goal in mind, every decision that I was making along the way, it was all derived from that end goal. So um, I would, my point is that, you know, if you're always thinking of your outcome, so, um, let me, let me give you a specific example. So if you are trying to lose 25 pounds in the next six months, well, every decision that you make along the way about what you're sitting down to the dinner table, how many times you're gonna to go to the gym, how many times you're gonna go out, how many times you're um, gonna eat out, how many times you're gonna actually meal plan, you know, those things all stack up over time. It's an investment in, in who you are over time. Where, where we get really, you know, separate from those from those times when I had an end goal. So it wasn't all the time, you know, I, I'd like to be able to come here and say, yeah, every time that, um, or throughout my entire 35 years of life, I've always had an end goal or I've always had something off in the distance that I was looking for. It wasn't always the case. Um, but when I compare the two, being A, I had an end goal, I was moving forward, I had something in the distance that I was striving for, something that, that was, 
um, motivating me, inspiring me, and, and surging forward towards. Compared to B, when I was when I didn't really have an end goal, I was just kind of drifting, and I didn't really have anything that I was striving for, looking for. So really, the opposite of that. When I look back on those times, I was not fulfilled. So for me personally, I was buying a lot of stuff, whether that be like at stores or at the mall or Amazon. Um, I was, uh, you know, very cerebral in my thinking. So you know, because. Uh, I, I, I didn't have that central focus. I was kind of all over the place. I was kind of scatterbrained. Um, I was getting distracted by a lot, uh, entertained by too much. I didn't have that like central intentional mission and focus. And because I was sort of scattered and, and all over the place, I wasn't centered and I didn't have that, that direction, that, that mission. And ultimately I was very unfulfilled. I was not satisfied. I didn't feel like I was living up to my full potential. So, you know, as men, it's so important that, that, that we set goals. So instead of thinking that like, okay, I want to, you know, and if it's monetary, like that's fine. But I think too, that's a lot of times where men get in trouble is that, uh, they're, they're chasing, they're chasing the dollar, uh, rather than chasing, uh, like an end goal or, or uh, fulfillment. Um, we hear a lot about mission. So, and I'm guilty of this too. You know, what is my mission? I don't know what my mission is. What's my mission? What's my purpose? Like, you know, we kind of get like f that shit like jammed down our throats a lot. Um, if you watch a lot of self-help or a lot of motivational speeches like I do, um, you know, that's a, that's a consistent topic that comes up. And you know, what, what I'm now understanding it to be, or, or if this can help you in any way, I, I have a hard time thinking of like, this is what my purpose is. This is what my mission in life is. I think that's a little black and white. I don't know that, you know, maybe some people know that. And for them, that's fantastic. I don't have that same luxury, that same, um, convenience. Um, so the way that I look at it is, Instead of thinking that this is my purpose, this is my mission, what I'm, what I'm changing that meaning in goal setting and in you know, what my mission and purpose is, is, is to have a direction. So it doesn't mean that you have to have like, I wanna make $4 million in, in five years. Okay, well, great. What happens when you get to the $4 million after that five years? You know, for me, that means I'm 40 with $4 million. Okay, I, hopefully I have a lot of life left. That's what I'm planning on. So if, if I've worked towards that and then I get there, I'm, I'm going to find myself being very unfulfilled, um, buying a lot of stuff. So there goes my $4 million, um, being distracted by a lot, um, entertained by too much. So the right way to think about that is to say, okay, yes, in the next year, I would like to pay off my debts. In the next two years, I would like to, uh, you know, exceed my sales goal at work. In the next three years, I would like to pay off my house. In the next five years, I would like to, or in the next four years, I would like to start a business. And in the next, well, like, like an exit business, so away from my full-time job, so in this case, it would be like if the YouTube channel takes off um, and it's something where I can help add value and uh, you know, it supplements my income, I can do it full time. So in year four, you know, it's, it's, it allows me to step away from my full time job. And in year five, um, for, let's say for all intents and purposes, I make the $4 million. It's a little bit of a stretch, but I'll use the same example. So. Those are, those are incremental goals that will get me to the year five. That's awesome. But you have to work beyond that because if you think of when people retire, their end goal is like, okay, I just, I just need to get to the retirement date, right? I have all this money. I just need to get to the date. You know, fuck my boss. All these people I've been working for, I'm sick of them. I just want to sit at home and I just want to watch TV every day. Um, if you look at the mortality rates of people that, that once, they, once they retire, what happens after they retire? Most of the time, they're six feet under within a couple of years. 
And it's because they don't have anything to live for. They're not excited. They're not moved. They're not motivating. They're not moving. They're not, you know, moving forward. They're not intentional. They're just, there's why, why get up? Why do anything? Right? Um, so it's, it's easy to get distracted by certainly by the things and the lifestyles that you see by social media and, um, the things that, that we see, but, uh, you have to set goals so that you have a mission. Men need direction. They need to be moving forward. It doesn't matter if you want to become the best garbage man, the best administrative assistant, the best janitor, the best CEO, the best father, the best baseball coach, the best mentor, the best. I mean, it really can be anything, but you have to have a continuous focus and a continuous direction. To me, that's mission. That's, that's purpose. Not that I, I am here to be a baseball coach. Okay. Well, if that's what it is, then, then fine. But maybe look at it as like, I'm always going to be moving forward and, and figuring out ways to become the very best coach that I can, um, in baseball and to the youth and to help them grow and mentor them and do it in other sports, do it in other States, do it online. Um, you know, just continuing to grow because if, if it's just, I want to become a good baseball coach, that's not really clearly defined. And it, 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 it kind of has an end point. You know, it's, it's a little abstract to, to, to really define what's a good baseball coach. It depends on who you, you ask probably. Um, but if, if the mission and the intent is to always evolve and to, you know, improve the lives of the kids that you're teaching baseball or to improve your skills as a coach, as a mentor, um, as somebody who inspires or who builds people up, who builds other leaders, uh, other community leaders, you always have to, there always has to be a North star. Men can't just drift. That's where we get into a lot of trouble. If you look at a lot of, you know, celebrity kids that are the, the kids of celebrities or kids that are born into royalty, you know, they, they, it's silver spoon. They don't really have anything that they really have to work for because they, they, they live a very abundant, a very resourceful, a very rich life. They just have everything given to them. So when they, when they're not stretching or striving or, or looking forward, they, you know, they get distracted. They spend a lot. They get distracted by a lot. They get entertained by a lot and they find themselves in really dark areas in with addictions and, with people and circumstances and relationships that are that are very harmful to them, um, never knowing that they could be doing better if much the way that their parents did or the people that afforded them that wealth uh, had a vision or or something that they were moving towards, and you know it's it's not that we have to clearly know exactly what it is, you know we don't have to get into the details of like it needs to be this this and this. Um, I think getting specific with goals is, is critical. Um, incremental goals to a long-term goal is also critical. Um, missing goals is not the end of the world. You're not going to attain each goal, but always having a North star, uh, and, and, and always working towards it. It's going to affect all the decisions that you make. Um, the, the people that you hang out with, the, the, the relationships that you get involved in, the things that you put in your body, um, the, the decisions that you make in business, what you do with your free time, who you bring in and out of your life. You know, every decision that you're making along the way, even if you don't even realize it, subconsciously you're always moving towards that end goal. You're always moving towards that, that direction. And rather than, than trying to figure out like, what is my one sentence mission and purpose in life? That's too black and white. At least it is for me. Um, look for a direction, look for a path, a very linear. This is where I will always be. Th th there's some semblance of like, this is the theme for my life. And this is the direction that, that I'm going to go. Um, it could change, you know, my goals, my values, uh, I think that a mission can change. That's why having a clear defined one sentence, I am this is, 
um, I think that that might box, might box you in. I, I don't know, I may want something different in five, 10 years. Um, hopefully I evolve. I don't wanna be the same person in five years. So, um, you know, my, my goal is to continuously, you know, become a better version of myself, um, become a, a, the best man that I can be. There's, there should be no end goal. I'm 35 now. If, if I wanna become the best version of myself and, and the best man that I can be, it shouldn't be that I wanna do that by 45 or 40 or 45, whatever the case may be. Because then what after that? I'm gonna settle and I'm not gonna be moving forward. I'm not gonna stretch. I'm not gonna continue moving. So, and every decision that I make after that is going to affect that because I don't have a, a, an avenue. I don't have a, a direction that I'm moving. It's, it's very dangerous for guys to get into that place. So decide what it is that is, is most important to you and, and don't think that it needs to boil down to like strictly one sentence. It can be a variety of things. Um, but, you know, instead of getting bogged down and, and disgusted with yourself like I have in the past about what is my mission and purpose, what is important to you and, and what will you continuously be striving for? Um, what, what doesn't have an end goal for you? What is something that your life has direction in, um, you know, if I'm pointing at relationships, you know, a, a lot of, a lot of the times divorce can happen. A lot of the times divorce happens because, you know, guys are like, okay, I, if I can just get the girl and then get the 30 year mortgage, we're good. Like she's not going to go anywhere. And then what happens? They lose track of themselves. They lose track of their, of their direction, their mission and purpose, everything that um, you know, likely the girl was attracted to, um, they lose sight of their goals. Uh, they, they just, you know, they kind of start drifting and they become a shallow of the man or a shadow of the man that, that they are potential or that they have the potential to be. And also the, the potential or the, the shadow of the man that, that she originally fell in love with. So it's so important that we, we just, we never forget that. There's not an end goal. I wish I could come to you guys and say, yes, at a certain point, you know, you're going to be able to just sit on the beach and, you know, drink out of coconuts. That's just not how the way of life is. I, it's part of life to, to struggle and to have good moments, highs and lows, and um, to, to, to work for the things that you want, to earn, um, to, to have strife to have happiness, to have sadness. You know, it's, it's, it's not the end goal. It really is the journey. Um, it can be tough at times when you're just like, fuck, I don't know what I'm, what am I doing all this for? Um, I, I have those moments even in the last six months of doing the channel. Um, but my mission is to always, you know, continue to build community, build awareness for men. Um, and part of this is, you know, is improving me. A big thing that I focus on, or at least I try to focus on internally is if I can come here and, and, and share my experiences, my failures, and the things that, you know, I've burnt to the ground or the things that uh, I've struggled with or have, you know, just need, just need to be honest about. Part of me helping the community is, is healing me. So, I don't get to that place. I'm not able to move forward in becoming the best version, the best man that I can be without doing this on a consistent basis. So my goal is to continuously do that. Um, and I'm not gonna stop until, you know, I have, I, I won't stop. I mean, there's, there's just, there can be no end goal. There, 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 there can't be a place where it's just like, okay, by the time that I hit this, I'm gonna be good. So I'm rambling a little bit, so I will, uh, I will stop. Um, but again, don't get caught up in thinking that it's one sentence. I am this, this is my mission, my purpose. That's a little bit robotic, that's gonna box you in. Find a theme, go after what you want, continue to stay on that, and you know, set incremental goals that will get you. It may change and it may vary a little bit, that's fine. Um, but you're always going to have that North Star, and that's what men need. They need direction, mission, purpose. So, 
I hope that is of good value to you today, my good men. Um, please share your comments and let me know what you guys think and um, if there's any topics that you'd like me to cover in the future. Uh, also, please do like the video, share the video, and uh, share the channel with anybody that you think would contribute greatly or value greatly from our content here at the Manicor. We are building community, so we would love to have them as a part of the community. Thank you so much for watching another video here at the Manicor, gentlemen. Have a great rest of the day. I will see you soon. Cheers.